Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Stott, I'm the Emperor of Stemeria, and today we're continuing our series on how to start a micronation by talking about micronational war. The very idea that I need to make a video about this speaks volumes in itself. But right off the bat, let's make it very clear that there is no such thing as a micronational war. What micronational war is, is typically uh, discord raiding or doxing someone or calling someone a mean name uh, <laughs> uh, on Reddit or Twitter or Discord or Facebook or whatever else. These are, I mean, it, it's so unbelievably cringy, even for the micronational community. I mean, you know, being labelled a, a king or an emperor or a president or whatever else. As, I mean, from most, most of the outside, we'll find that a little bit cringy and it's a little bit funny. But this just goes beyond the pale. This is, this is the stuff that we will never affiliate or associate. Any micronation that engages in any kind of self-defined war or conflict or hostilities or whatever they want to call it with another micronation that's an instant red flag no association whatsoever period because i don't want stemeria to be associated or affiliated with anything like that and if you are a uh, say genuine micronationalist someone who is a takes it a little bit more seriously even if it is tongue-in-cheek on your part Associating with any micronation that's involved in that kind of activity is is just going to drag you down. Like it, it really is. It's just going to do absolutely no favors whatsoever. So the absolute best thing you can do is first of all not get it into your idea that you're going to declare war on anyone, and the second thing you can do is make sure you don't affiliate with anyone that uses the terms war, hostilities, uh, aggression. Uh, what else can we do? Maybe an embargo, I don't know, something, something along those lines. These meaningless jargon terms that they try to sound professional and, you know, you know, look at me, I'm defending the micronational community. Oh, do me a favour. Really, honestly, just if you're that guy, just just shut up. It, it's it's no, just don't. OK, just, just don't. And the only thing I can think is the, the reason behind this is that the micronational community is overly populated with uh boys frankly you know teenage boys or prepubescent boys um who just have to absolutely fight someone else you know playing too much call of duty and then sort of bringing it onto the micronational uh you know r slash micronations or you know micro wiki or whatever it might be you know it's it really is like that the, the only other reason i can think is that they want to try and get some sort of attention and we've had this issue ourselves in that, I mean, it's not so much an issue, it's just a mild inconvenience, really. But we often get messages or emails saying, because X, Y, and Z, we are officially declaring war on you. And what they're after is a response. They want you to rise to the bait. And the idea, I suppose, is that if they pick a big enough target or a well-known target, and that target responds by going... 
this tiny insignificant nobody has declared war on me, then that tiny insignificant nobody will then get a little bit of publicity or a little bit of attention. I promise you it won't be the attention that they think they want, um, because large segments of the micronational community, quite rightly, don't want anything to do with micronations that are engaged in hostilities or conflicts or war um, in the in the sense that they're you know, sending a mean email or a formal letter or, you know, raiding the Discord. Oh, it's just so... It's so embarrassing, frankly, and I, I, the only people that do this, um, they, they must be children. I mean, I can't think of, I can't think of any actual adult that has engaged in this. The only exception I can really think of is Molossia, which did a tongue-in-cheek war, uh, which was just for amusement. It was a, it was a, a stunt, and I think a lot of micronations or micronationalist leaders have got it into their head that this is a good way to get the ball rolling in terms of generating attention and publicity for yourself that you know it's done 10,000 times before and it always results the same way which is it, it just doesn't end well it, it really doesn't it, it the stigma will stay with you forever so if you are a micronationalist entering the community do not engage in war uh, <laughs> war but as an aside to this topic uh when it comes to sort of micronational militaries armies where whichever whatever you want to call it, dressing up in military attire or having firearms or, you know, swords or spears or whatever, whatever else you have, that is different. That is you developing your micronation in terms of, well, however you want to define, develop it as. I mean, in terms with Sumeria, we don't really have a, uh, we have military attire. We have, we do have lethal uh, weapons, um, but they're never intended to be used for anything. It's just something that we need, well, we feel we need to be more genuine, to be more as, you know, to replicate as close as we can, to simulate as close as we can an actual nation, an actual society. But the very idea that we would use these, uh, you know, these uniforms or uh, firearms or sabers or whatever else it may be in a violent capacity has never crossed our minds. And the very idea that you have children, literal children, declaring war on you, I mean, uh, you, you have to shake your head sometimes at the community. I mean, whatever happened to just building an alternative society? Whatever happened to building a community, a civilization, uh, uh, you know, a, a set of values and ideals to work towards? Why does it have to be a... Uh, a, a constant cesspit of activity in and amongst some of the 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 newer members more often than not anyway i'm going off on a tangent i'm just getting irate about the about the, the whole conversation because it's just it it triggers me it really does so long and short micronational war don't do it if you do it uh, we're not going to associate with you and i'm sure a great swathe of the micronational community will also not associate with you so, with that in mind, if you enjoyed this video, as short and rambling and as irritable as I am about it, uh, feel free to uh, give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll catch you in the next one.